Before we get into this, please make sure you subscribe. If you're new here, my name is Izzy and I'm a journalist and I make videos here on YouTube about animal-based topics and issues. And a huge part of that is how animals are able to change people's lives, whether that be service animals, guide dogs, hearing dogs, or people that simply have a pet that just completely changed their life. So please do get in touch with me if you do have a story to tell and you would like to tell it on this channel with me. But today we are talking about animal assisted therapy. Now this is something I did cover a very long time ago. It was when we were sort of coming out of the pandemic and I spoke to adults and young people about how going to an animal therapy based centre called Mother's Art had impacted their life, particularly during the pandemic. But today we are talking about the impact of animal therapy, particularly in young people. So in an NHS England report from last year, it was found that one in five children and young people aged 8 to 25 now have a probable mental health condition, which is around five in every classroom. And data also revealed that the proportion of young people experiencing mental health difficulties has continued to increase really rapidly since 2017. So in 2017 it was one in nine, in 2020 it was one in six, and in 2023 it was one in five. But more and more schools, colleges and universities are introducing therapy animals in order to impact the well-being of their students. And works for you is one of them. Now Works For You is a specialist college in Staley Bridge in Greater Manchester, which offers an alternative to mainstream education to 14 to 24 year olds. And they have access to Raglan's Farm in Hyde. This is where the students have access to 50 animals. They're able to study a level one qualification in work-based animal care, as well as taking part in animal assisted therapy, which we're gonna be talking all about with them today. So I'm gonna to head to Works For You and speak to some of the students about how having this program and the animal assisted therapy has impacted their well-being as well as speaking to melissa chapman who is the deputy manager of animal care at the college so enjoy this cheesy little rhyme without further ado let's head to works for you I started um, three years ago with animal care, I started animal care course. I was supposed to go in somewhere else but I came here instead to do horse care and I absolutely love it. I suffer with bad anxiety and stress and all that, don't we all? <laughs> yeah. And when I'm around a horse it just makes me feel calm. I first came here in 2021 I think and was mainly at the centre doing personal social stuff and then since I wanted to work with animals I was moved here. I feel much more relaxed mm -hmm. and because stroking animals especially if they react in a positive manner is quite therapeutic. I started when I was September. I love animals and I love feeding them. So welcome to Raglan's Farm. This is part of Works For You Specialist Support College. It's one of our many sites that we have and we offer a very varied range of learner-centred um, courses really. So it's very much learner-led. Uh, learners have reviews and are able to make decisions and choices around their own paths and areas of education in which they want to be involved. So a lot of the learners that we have here have started off at our main centre learning skills such as personal and social or maybe even employability skills. They then decide that they may like to work with animals and they start the year in September with us in the winter which is one of the most hardest grueling tasks that there is is working with animals on a farm site in the winter so it gives them a lot of dedication and responsibility to the animals. They start becoming more entrusted with their tasks. It gives them a good sense of like responsibility and it also teaches them like how to be independent as well. So they understand when they come here that it's not just them, it's everybody around them and the animals in situ as well. So although they have their own sense of responsibility caring for one animal, they have to be responsible enough to be independently working around others. 
So they'll learn things such as employability skills, communication skills, um, interpersonal and social skills, um, and again, animal skills learning how to handle animals, learning how to provide the correct nutrition and learning how to care on an all-round day-to-day basis for those animals, it gives our learners a really good sense of supported emotional well-being because they've always got someone to talk to in the animals, not just the people that are on site. So a lot of our sessions that we run within the animal care are quite focused, so we'll have like units such as handling, units such as well-being and different areas like that but we also do a lot of animal assisted therapy in which is just free time spent with the animals learning how to groom the animals and learning how to just be at one with the animals and the learners look a lot into the animal behavior and they're able to recognize positive and negative behaviors in animals and I think seeing those behavioral changes when looking at their own personal state of mind at the time so if that learner in particular may be struggling feeling a little bit overwhelmed even feeling angry or anxious they will go and spend time with an animal of choice. Now, that animal may react in an adverse way if their, that their persona is too much for the animal at the time. So the students can then recognise the behavioural responses in animals to allow them to adjust their own behaviours and realise that actually maybe we can go about this in a different way. It sort of, it sort of draws them back um, to a baseline of relaxation where they can start to self-regulate their emotions and work a little bit harder on that area as well. Thank you so much to Melissa as well as all the students that spoke to me today about how this really has been such a life-changing thing for them. Simply by just caring for the animal or just sitting with the animal and just being present with the animal, it's really, really amazing to hear how that has really, really impacted the well-being of the students. How they're also able to get a qualification out of it as well because, I mean, what could be more fun than just working with animals all day and cuddling animals? I mean. I don't think there's anything much better than that really. As I said in the beginning, please make sure you subscribe if you do want to hear more stories like this. I'm going to be doing a lot more over the course of this year, so please do stay tuned. I will see you in the next one.